First I measured the midpoint of the board and since I want the ship lap to be 11, it's 5.5 each side and this is basically the cut line. Since my circular saw blade starts 2.5cm away, this is the line for my guide. So once I drew this line for the guide, I just had to make a line every 11cm so that I get all my guide lines and I can cut the ship lap pattern out. There is a box back there that can't be opened but we're not sure whether it needs to be opened in the future so just to be safe I'm going to make the back panel rental friendly so that we can remove it very easily if they ever need to open it. Comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Do you 
think you can make a cushion? Mm. <laughs> mm. You can do it! <laughs> <laughs> okay. When the winter is bitter and cold And the spring is yet to unfold May your heart be strong and your love Summer sun is beating the ground Autumn's breeze nowhere to be found May your heart be strong and your love Your love remain May your love remain It's been six months, but we finally bought a shoe cabinet. <laughs> Pat and I bought this from Kia last night and assembled it. So the reason why we waited so long was because I really wanted to thrift a vintage one, but we have had no luck. To fulfill my vintage dreams, I decided that I'm going to add some molding, which is what I've done here. I've just pasted these with tape for now to see what look I want. This morning we went out and got some molding and that's what I'm gonna do today along with adding some new handles. Another project, another paint dilemma. <laughs> so last night I prepped the shoe cabinet for painting by sanding it down a bit and also attaching this sheet to protect the wall. Also got two samples of chalk paint. It's called caramel and cacao. Sounds so yummy, doesn't it? <laughs> I wanted to get one more in a dark grey. It was called graphite, I think, but it was sold out. So I thought, okay, that's fate. These are the two samples, caramel and cacao. I like... The cacao one more because it creates more contrast with the green wall rather than this kind of blends into each other because they're both light so i got a big can of the cacao paint that's lying there but at the same time i'm also a little bit worried that it's a bit too light and might not contrast as much as i hope so i oops so i also got this furniture wax in the dark brown and it gave this very nice dark vintage furniture effect which I really like so the plan is to first paint the whole thing in the cacao chalk paint and then if I don't like the contrast I will add the furniture wax to darken it even more
lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep Close your eyes and let us fade away 